Hello friends! Today I am very excited because I got something in the mail today that I've been waiting for for two weeks time and today it finally arrived from France and I am really excited to open this package and I was thinking I could share with you guys. Before I unpack this, maybe I should tell you what it is. <laughs> this is uh, the Stablo easel, which is a portable easel made for watercolorists, uh, sketchers, urban sketchers. This is uh, the water cups that I ordered extra. So just remember, if you're ordering this easel, you need to buy the cups separately. These are made to fit in the easel and they have a lid and they are collapsible. So it gets kind of big when you fold them out. Oh, it's very soft. And kind of hard to put together <laughs> actually <laughs> no that doesn't work so you need to just fold it like this well, and you can keep water in this too if you don't want to have two cups but i ordered two cups we're going to unwrap them both because i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how they work on the easel so there you go the cups and this is the extra water cup holder I ordered because this product comes with just one. And this is the main product. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's open it up. Careful with your fingers. Careful with your fingers. I'm trying to stay in camera, but it's it's hard. <laughs> Let's take a look in the box. Ooh, ooh! It's some cardboard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this is what's uh, included in the kit. It's a water cup holder and a brush holder. instruction and a card nice and another card stock it's well packaged so it doesn't matter if the box was beat up and this is the beauty wow beautiful product i have no idea what kind of wood this is and i'm not gonna guess so Really good elastic. It's very sturdy. Let's try setting it up. I am going to put my brush holder in here. Well, I've seen people people do this, and I guess you have to just push it in kind of hard because it's well it's a good fit and then I'm gonna put this this one in here I think you have to put put this under the elastic but I'm not sure I'm not sure but that's what I'm gonna do because I feel like this is well, I don't know this kind of helps Holding it down, and of course, you can't put it on the other side because the elastic will be wedged in between this. And I guess that won't work. 
So yes, you need to you need to put it under the elastic. I wonder if the manual states this. Well, no explanation on whether you should put it under the elastic or not. But that's okay. I am going to go get my sketchbook, okay? Because I kind of forgot it. So, excuse me for a second. So I have these sketchbooks that I like to use. Well, this is just a, it's a leather journal from Old Guild. And it's so beautiful. And I just make my own inserts in this with watercolor paper. I haven't started using this yet. I actually made these inserts for a different journal cover that I just ordered from him. We're gonna try it in the Stablo today to see. And this is my small sketchbook from Allskin. And this is my large one. So we're gonna try them both. Let's try the big one first. Let's open this right, on the middle. All my sketchbooks are, are new actually, because I just started doing watercolors. So, and this, I just have one. <laughs> I just have one painting. <laughs> so we have to open it like this. So we get the covers on both sides and then we slide Stablo on the cover. It's kind of hard with this uh, fold out thing. Maybe I have to just remove that actually because it's too, as you can see it's too, uh, the paper is too thick with this. But I have never cared for this pocket so I might as well just rip it out it's a very tight fit. I don't think I can do this actually. I need to just remove this. Maybe I should just cut it off instead of ripping it, destroying my whole book. I'll just take it off for now. It's falling apart completely, this sketchbook, so I need to glue it anyways. I'm butchering this book, I know, but I kind of don't care because it's a sketchbook. Anyways, I'm going to tidy up later, I promise. Now we're just going to try to get this to work. Kind of tear in my book, so I have to press it down. There we go. This is as far as it goes. It's kind of this is a huge book for this type of easel. This might not be my my choice if I'm going to use a stablo because it's kind of big. I'd rather go for a small sketchbook. Let's try it with the small sketchbook. let's try it with the red one first to see because I'm really excited for this no I don't think it's gonna fit it's gonna fit on this side but on the other side not gonna fit so but if you don't have a pocket on this it is going to fit so let's just pretend let's pretend it doesn't have a pocket and it's fitting quite nice so that makes me happy because the one I'm I just ordered it doesn't have any pockets, so it's gonna fit fine. Good to know. And this is my small sketchbook. It's also brand new, and it also has this stupid pocket. But let's see. This is 
the only painting I did in this sketchbook. And it's tiny, 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 tiny birds. Maybe I have to butcher this one too to get it to fit. That's really annoying actually, but okay. No, oh, almost. Let's just push it in. Let's try to push it in. Yep. Ooh. That's not going anywhere. No, it's not going anywhere. It's actually perfect. Yay. This is the setup I'm going to use, I think, when I'm sketching outside. I can have this on my lap. creates kind of a bulge here. I'm not super excited about that because it puts a strain on this spine area. But as you get further along in the book, of course it gets better and better until you're at the end. And the same happens on the, the other side. But it's just a sketchbook, so. I'm fine with it. Let's try with the cups. Fold them out. They are going in here. One for clean and one for dirty. And I am going to try the magnets. This is my homemade palette. I have this card for reference color reference and I also have a small container for my sponge sponge cloth I had water on them and they kind of shrunk <laughs> well that's life I think I am going to put a magnet on this side or at least metal of some sort so I can stick this here together with this because this is magnetic and it's super it's, it's a good strong magnet and it has magnets it has a magnet here and here and over here so you can have a huge palette on this entire area and I'm going to put the magnet on this too so I can stick this here so I have my colors, my mixing. Maybe I'll do it this way instead. This is the way I usually work. There we go. Or I can use this one. You can just hang a cloth from from this uh, string, or you can you can put this on this side, and you can put your you can put your cloth on this, and you can. Use the magnets to hold your clip. And this is just scrap paper I use for color testing when I mix colors. And we need some brushes. This is my etcher, my etcher case. I also have this, this palette, which I really, really love. But this one doesn't have magnets on the underside. So I would need to either destroy this to put some magnets on. And I'm not going to do that. Or I can use the clip. I can use the clip to maybe just, just clip it on. I don't think, uh, well, let's see, let's try to clip this on the actual, actual stablo. Oi, uh, Oi that's a Norwegian word for oops <laughs> or something. This is not big enough to hold this because it's too, uh, it's too wide. So I cannot put it there. If I want to use this, then I need to just clip it on 
my book itself. And then I can put this back in. It's kind of hard filming this because you need to hold it up in the air for it to work, you know? <laughs> I can do this. I can have this like the, that and I can have the testing paper and I can also put my reference photo or something on this side. Or I can have two palettes. I can use two palettes. If I need, <laughs> if I need more yellows and orange, that's not very likely. So I guess, I guess this is the one I'm going to use with this stablo. You have a lot of options with this. That's for sure. And I guess I'm going to use mostly water brushes when I, when I go up to use this easel. So. I won't need my cups at all. And then you can travel lighter. Now I can just have this. Um, so this is the way I'm going to work. And if I use the water brushes, I will just bring this and I will have this one on, on this side. And I will put my rag or paper or something in here to just wipe my brush and I will use my water brushes because it doesn't matter if the water brush is stored tip up or tip down like other travel brushes I can bring my water brushes the holes are kind of getting smaller and smaller so I can have two brushes I wish there were some of them were larger but that's the way it is now I can I can put a pencil in here I guess this is this is too big for this pencil and this is too small so I have to use this hole for my pencil I might bring a larger one too big too small it'll fit in here And you can have your pen, too big, it's too big for the holes. Well, you can clip it on here, on there. <laughs> it's a good idea, but you need to kind of make it work. I can bring just one water brush. Well, I might find a better solution for this. Maybe I will just install something on this that keeps the brushes. You can just, if you have a lot of brushes, you can put them all in this part. But if, if you have just two, it will just fall right through. So. That won't work and of course if you put your brushes in these holes then you can't put it down because it will destroy the destroy the pen so i am going to figure something out that's a better solution than this and i will show you in a different different video because i need a pencil and i need a pen and i do need at least one small water brush and one big water brush and it's it's nice to have the mister and it's nice to have a flat water brush that's what I need 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 to take with me and an eraser I can use this eraser or I can use the, the big eraser and I also need my, what else do I need? I need my kneaded eraser, which I don't know where I keep at the moment. But I think I keep it, I think I keep it in this pocket in here. My tape. I'm going to bring this case anyways, 
and I have all my stuff in here. So, yeah, we will figure something out. If you use water brushes, then you don't need to use the cups. And if you don't need to use the cups, you might use the cups for storing brushes and pens and stuff you need. Right? Isn't that a good idea? That's much better. Even though you can't put it down because it will, well, that's, it. that's better. It's a better solution, I think. Then you can eliminate this because you don't need that. And you can use two of these and you can use, you can have water brushes and you can have one cup for water or whatever. That's nice. And which if you put it down with water and the pencil, it's okay. You can use it on a table like this. If you need to use it on a table, and if you use it on a lap, your lap, you can you can safely use it like this. They won't fall out. So and you can stand holding them like this. I think I like this this solution better. I can just take it out and I have my cloth here. I can just wash off my brush if I need to. I rarely do that with water brushes, but you know, you can also use your, <laughs> you can use your lid for water. So you can have dirty water and clean water and you still have room for your brushes and pens. You can even order more and you can have one on this side and this side, order a cup. And you can have your brushes here and clean water and dirty water. Yeah, that's a solution. Nice. So that is my new stablo, and I love it. I really do. It is going to work just as I hoped. So I hope you like this short, <coughs> long unboxing. And I will put the link in the description for for the Stablo, where I got the Stablo. This video is not sponsored. So I just thought I would show you. my setup kind of next time i will post a video when i i'm using this i'm actually painting something with it so you can see how it works in action have a nice have a nice weekend i guess it's weekend because it's friday today so have a nice weekend and i will talk to you next time Bye.